All right, so I just shared a little bit about vibrational medicine and using the frequency or vibration, energy, spirit, however you want to say it, <laughs> using the essence of plants, minerals, and animals um, in healing sessions. And I do sun point energy realignment. And for me, these frequencies are the information for which frequency to use comes in as I'm working with somebody or myself. And so it could be rose flower essence, an amethyst, rhodochrosite, um, blue kyanite came in yesterday or was used yesterday. Uh, literally, it could be any obscure mineral or plant or an, an, or animal. And I don't even have to be familiar. In fact, most times I'm not familiar even with the crystal or mineral or um, I don't know the healing properties. I, I was really into crystals when I was a child, and so I used to study that a lot, But and I, I have a degree in Ayurvedic medicine and a background in herbal medicine, so I'm familiar with a lot of plants and the different medicinal qualities of, of different plants, but we can actually tap into um, these frequencies, any medicine that's gonna be useful for us. We can tap into it in the level of our consciousness. And so, I had been shown when I was doing Sunpoint that at some point, at a certain time, I would be using the frequency or energy or spirit of ayahuasca. And to be honest, like I said in my previous video, I've never done ayahuasca. I've never done like a proper plant ceremony, medicinal ceremonial thing. Um, I, I haven't used any psychedelic or hallucinogenic um, substances like that in many, many years, at, at least like 27 years. And uh, however, <laughs> life is very psychedelic and I've done a lot of meditation over the years. I used to live like in an ashram and I did many, many hours of meditation and, and the cities and even yogic flying and really, really powerful tools of developing techno um, technologies of developing consciousness and also um, vibrational medicine, sound medicine. Uh, many different forms of it. Also gem light therapies I've done. These are all modalities of Ayurvedic medicine. And I studied Ayurveda in college and worked in Ayurvedic clinics and I taught meditation for many years. So I always had access to these things and I, they all um, in, enliven or turn on certain aspects of consciousness. Uh, but we can do this. We can, we can um, you know, utilize the frequency or energy vibration of, of different medicinal um, I don't, let's see, you know, I don't want to say objects, but medicine, natural medicine, vibrational medicine, um, you know, these, these frequencies of intelligence that do manifest as certain plants or crystals or, or animals can be used uh, as well as the physical crystals or plants. And um, so yesterday I was doing sun point and I have a couple um, like points i had a concussion here and this this area here where there's a lot of um pain and tension and i believe i have some moles i have to get checked out and this is um i'll, I'll get i'll follow up on this later but i do have some moles that are that are new that i've been a little bit concerned because there's been this thing happening here where um you know something's off something's off and um when i was doing some point i could feel like all this energy just like being released through like the point where I had a concussion and also co coincidentally this coincides with like the the liver and gallbladder meridians which I know for me are issues so there was just a lot of clearing in this area over and over and over again in this whole process of, of clearing um, this heavy energy that that like gets congested and there's different lever levels of this congestion physical energetic and mental emotional um, you know, there's these deposits of, uh, I don't want to say toxins, but in Ayurvedic terms, it would be called ama, but there's many different types of ama. And um, so there was this big clearing happening. And then things really started to sort of um, get enlivened. And I had the guidance to use the plant, the flower, uh, not the flower, but the, the plant, ayahuasca, the energy of that. And as I did that, as I asked the spirit of ayahuasca to assist in my healing, it was so like just immensely powerful. And I had this deep connection and I just, I could see this big, like bright green eye in front of me. And, um, it was so like just nourishing and supportive. And as 
as I really settled into this experience and this feeling, my consciousness expanded outside. And I've had this experience in, in other meditations that I've done with my mentors where I, I completely um, sort of lift up and out and go even outside of our known universe. And there are many, many universes. And I they're like bubbles. And I'm in this space in between the bubbles. I mean, kind of like, you know, like the plasma or blood, like in between the, you know, the, the cells, there's, there's space or the dark matter um, that, you know, is in between the physical or more obvious structures of, of our known universe. And um, so I'm in this space and I can see and feel the different universes. And I start to look into almost like, you know, look like peering into this, this globe. And then I enter that universe and um, they were all different landscapes and colors and types of body. And I could see like the first one I had like this very purpley shimmery um, skin and body. And I was very like long and tall and big. And I had these other beings that I was connected with and like, I, I, not like lovers, but like family, but there was this very physical nourishment just of, of being loved and supported and I went into the next one and this being of water, I was in like a waterfall and the water itself was a being that was upholding and clearing and just caressing me and cleansing me. And it was like both pleasure. It was very pleasurable, almost like ecstatic and just, it was so beautiful. And, um, a lot, lots happened in that one, but <laughs> it was pretty juicy. Um, <laughs> and then I went into the next, um, I, I, stepped out of that. I went into the next universe and I was in this tree. It was like this gigantic um, world of trees that I was, that I was looking at and I was being supported. I was like in like the nest in the arms on the, on the big branch of the tree and it was holding me and, and it was like alive, you know, its leaves were like the hair and it was holding me and supporting me. And, and I just felt so loved and nourished in every one of these experiences. And I came back with just this feeling of such beautiful, like just support and, and soft, like everything was so vibrant, the colors and what I was seeing and feeling was so vibrant and alive. And as I, um, came back into our known universe and, you know, th through like many galaxies and our galaxy and our solar system and, and coming back into seeing our planet, it was like, I could sort of hug it because I was like the size of the planet, you know, it was like hugging and feeling the softness and the pillowiness of the atmosphere and the clouds. And, and I could just feel it like pulsating in the love and like the flow of love and an exchange between us. And it was so beautiful. And then, um, and then I could see like areas in time areas and space and and periods of time where there's been like mass destruction like a volcanic eruption or something happened and and it sort of and i went right into um a point in japan hiroshima or hiroshima i'm not how, sure how you just um pronounce it but i went right to this spot where this nuclear um, bomb had gone off and and i it was like the energetic impression of that that went into the earth and went in, into the like high into the atmosphere, but also permeated every dimension. And it was like the, the frequency of intelligence that creates balance and purifies and restores order where there was disorder was working on the whole thing, like that, like for a while. And this was really powerful. And, um, you know, I, it's like a localized version of it in myself or someone else when I, when I see these clearings take place, but on this massive scale. And I've been really, you know, thinking about this whole phenomenon of, of, of nuclear fission. And, and so many people talk about it, how destructive it is on all these different layers of creation. This is why um, people often talk about, you know, they, there's, e, there's potential ET intervention, not because they're trying to destroy us, but because they're trying to prevent us from destroying everything on every level on our planet and you know um throughout this interdimensional uh, landscape of the multiverse and so um so it's a big thing this you know this nuclear um weaponry and as i was sort of coming back into myself i collapsed into the ayahuasca vine and it was caressing and holding me and then i was sort of like you know gently led um led back onto the earth 
in uh, a new animal form that was really, really, really beautiful. The whole experience was actually really beautiful. So I just want to share.